Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brigazar. Today we're going to be looking at the Jurassic World 2020 collection that's out so far at Walmart is where I got these. Wait a minute, that's just me and a phone. Hold on. Alright, so that is the 2020 collection. We got four sets that we picked up at Walmart. 75939 Dr. Wu's Lab and Baby Dinosaur Breakout. Oh, aren't they so cute when they break out? They're too little to eat the people. And then we got 7592, <laughs> which is Velociraptor's Biplane Rescue Mission. That is dead. Velociraptor is bigger than the entire airplane. And then we got this thing, which is this type of vehicle I've seen so many times. It seems like in dinosaur base sets. I said this one's got the uh, drones. This is 75940, the Gallimimus and Pterodon breakout. They're flocking our way. And then we got 7595, no, excuse me, 75941, Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus. Uh, the gyosphere thingy there. There's the Ankylosaurus. There's the Indominus Rex. So this is all four of them built together. And so my first thing is I'm going to recommend not buying these at full retail price. Only one of them is reasonably priced and it's the Dr. Wu's lab. It's $20. Uh, which you get two dinosaurs and two minifigures and some eggs. The This one is an absolute ripoff. The uh, Juniors one, the four Juniors, 75242 with the, uh, you get that, the dinosaur, that little thing there, and the airplane. That's 30 bucks. I had to double check my receipt. $30 for that. I mean, that's just crazy. This one, it looks like a big box when you look at the box, but then when you build it, it's really not much to it. <laughs> And that one was $50. And sadly, the, the most expensive one is probably one of, also another more reasonable one. Uh, because you do get the big uh, Indominus Rex and you get the big uh, Ankylosaurus and you get some play features and stuff. It's $100 still, but it's only 537 pieces. Don't get caught up in price per piece because you got the two biggest dinosaurs in that set. set. Uh, so overall, this basically... 150 yes, $200. $200 for four sets for this. And it seems like back in the day you could get an entire set that would have all of this for about $100. And I think back to the Dino 2012 line that came out in 2010. Yeah, something like that. Something weird like that. Uh, those were a better value, even, I think, adjusted for inflation. So, you know, yeah, Lego's getting more expensive uh, so that's out of the way. I'm not gonna, don't need to talk about the cost anymore. So 75939, Dr. Wu's Lab, is the most reasonably priced one. You get these cute little dinosaurs right here. Aren't they so cute? Baby Ankylosaurus, I think, and a baby Triceratops. You got the lab desk here. with I think that's a microscope. You got a computer, and you got some um, amber with a mosquito in it. We got the breakfast machine here. We're going to have some eggs there. Uh, maybe that's the coffee maker. So they got eggs and their coffee cup there ready to go. They're going to scramble the eggs up in there. We got the control center here. And we can see the dinosaur there. So it's clearly easy to see why uh, the dinosaurs escaped. We get Dr. Wu and Owen. And I'm sure there's probably other face prints. I don't know. I don't care. And then the next one up, the Velociraptor biplane rescue, you get this cute little 4x4. Four four. How many 4x4s four have we gotten in sets? <laughs> and we got, that is Sinjin Prescott right there. Um, yeah. And he's got the uh, directions to Africa, I think. I don't know what that is. And then we got Blue. I think this is blue. Is this blue? It says Velociraptor, but it looks like it's blue. It's got the nice rubbery tail right there. Um, I do like the quality of the dinosaurs in these newer sets. Um, pretty good, nice little quality. We got Owen flying this airplane because he knows how to do everything. He knows how to fly, ride a four-wheeler. He just does it all. But I guess you're supposed to 
fly in and rescue the guy like that. I don't know, what's the play feature show on the back? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. And then you got the little um, bite size level. So like the guy can sit up there and then be eaten by the Velociraptor. And you got the jewels for whatever reason there. I guess they were going to get the jewels. He got a flat tire and then you got to, Owen's got to come and rescue him. And for me, the, the main thing in all of these sets I like is the dinosaurs. So you get the Pteranodon here in the 75940 Gallimimus and Pteranodon Breakout. And the oh, whoops, got Gallimimus here. So I like this Gallimimus. You need a whole bunch of these to make your whole flock. And there's Clara. There, or Claire. Is it Claire? Claire? Oh, whatever. And then this Jeep or 4x4, giant 4x4. Uh, you got the ACU guy in there. And oh look, Owen's driving another vehicle. It just drives everything. You got these cute little drones that attach off here. And you can put them back. Another drone. So there's our twins. Uh, you got the net shooter. Poop. Oh, that's that's really not gonna do any good. He laughs. He scoffs at the net shooter. Um, what else do we got on here? It's not really <laughs> that interesting. Uh, they got a, a play feature here where this comes out. And then we can see other things on the inside. Oh, look, they're going to have egg breakfast as well. They're going to put ketchup on their eggs. Got the syringes in there. Oh, they got some more um, amber with mosquitoes. So everybody's eating eggs with ketchup. So that's what they got. So they put the tranquilizer right there, which would be really hard to get to. So if they were in a, a pressing need to get them, they, they would have a hard time getting them because they're up there in the front. And these slide in on the little rail piece there. That's how that slides in. Hard to do with one hand. But for these two smaller dinosaurs in this vehicle for 50 bucks, it's just... Man, I said I wasn't going to talk about the price anymore. Um, yeah, i just not crazy about it. Now, I do thoroughly love the dinosaurs in the Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus set, 75941. This is not... this. There's a little bit more building that goes into this when you got some different pieces you got to attach onto it as opposed to the other uh, even larger dinosaurs. And it's got the little ankle feature. I mean, not ankle, the uh, hammer, hammer, hammer tail. There we go. Oops, uh, you missed it because I wasn't filming. Let's do it again. Boo. Oops. Oh, good job. So basically, those are designed to fall when you push that little button there. It pushes it out and causes the tree to fall. I think this Indominus Rex looks better than the white one from the um, 2015 line. Nice little shininess going on there. Uh, but yeah, this 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 is a pretty cool dinosaur. So add that to my dinosaur collection. Uh, we get some other minifigures. You got five minifigures in here. You got Claire, the little boy, the annoying ride operator. Oh look, there's Owen again, and then the other, the older boy. And we got the waiting, you know, the most important thing, they, most of the space in this is the uh, the waiting area to get onto the ride. <laughs> it's a huge thing there. And then we got the, I don't know if this is the concession stand or the, I, I think it's the ride operator thing. There's some different things. It's hard to see, but there's a control screen. So I think that's the ride operator. Then we got the turnstile. So you can add this to your theme park collection. And then you turn this knob here and it makes the uh, thing go. Well, kind of. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Watch this. Yeah. I might have put it in there too tight. But it's supposed to... It's supposed to fl as it rolls... Yeah, he's supposed to stay down, but it kind of... Uh, it doesn't do real well. But I thought that was a neat little... Uh-oh, he can go the wrong way. Nope, he got something to catch him. 
doesn't go the wrong way. Here we go. Let's try it again. Whew. There we go. Oh, he took out the dinosaur. <laughs> Good job. All right, so my final thoughts is um, the quality of the dinosaurs just keeps getting better. Very happy with that. The Ankylosaurus, the baby one, the baby Triceratops. We got the Veloc... not the Velociraptor, the uh, Indominus Rex. There's the Velociraptor. And we got uh, the Pteranodon. And there's a baby Velociraptor in here somewhere. So that's the dinosaurs we got with these sets, in addition to their eggs. Uh, so, wow, I spent $200 just to get these dinosaurs. Now I'm... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's another one. I forgot that. Gallimimus. Did I forget another one? I hope I didn't. I think that was the only baby dinosaur we had. So we've got three baby dinosaurs. We got four or five adult dinosaurs. $250. No, $200 in four sets. Wow. All right. So, yeah, wait till you see these 20% off somewhere. But cool dinosaurs. Don't care for the other stuff as much. But um, that's personal preference. I think the best value is the Dr. Wu's Lab. That's a great starter set. And then if I was just going to get two, this is how I would rank them. This one, and then get that one, then that one, and then that was the worst deal of them all. But hopefully they'll have something where you can find these cheaper than full retail price. Uh, because, man, it's getting tough to be a dinosaur collector anymore. All right, so that's a, a brief overview, not a detailed review of these things and what I think of them. I seem like we rehash a lot of things. Biplanes, uh, four-wheel drive vehicles, uh, four-by-four vehicles, <laughs> labs. This is new, <laughs> having an amusement park entrance to a, a dinosaur set. And it's a neat little uh, play feature there, but yeah. So that is the new... 2020 Jurassic World Lego sets that I picked up at Walmart. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe uh, and give it a thumbs up. Every little bit helps. And never pay full price for Lego. Man, whoever did that was dumb. See you guys. Bye. Even though I threw these boxes off my back porch, they are still decent shape i folded them down i am keeping them and there's the instructions got to compact all this stuff that's the extra pieces that were left over from the builds i'll consolidate those into another box somewhere and then i'll bag all these up individually until i can have a proper display uh, for my uh, collection or i may just keep the dinosaurs i don't know how i'm going to do this but yeah gotta, i'm running out of space